Hey, what's up guys? Deport here from Deport Gaming, and welcome to my first Warcraft 3 commentary in quite some time. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to come back here. I, I do apologize. I always say this in every single video because, uh, I'm not that active anymore, but I still like Warcraft 3, and this is my first commentary in a very long time, and I am not... Actually, I am familiar with these players. Uh, Ketchy, uh, well-known undead player, uh, seems to be picking up the slack for the undead race. Um from the replays I can see um, I haven't been following the scene too well so um, yeah but anyways this is anima and uh, I'm not sure actually what this is from I think it's from the recent tournament I forget what it's called but um, I think it was a tournament I don't think it was Zotac or anything so this is actually a um, tournament Anima's is gonna be playing his uh, main race human as well as Kachi playing his undead uh, main race and this is the uh, map Amazonia, so um, hopefully all of you guys know uh, this map. Nothing too much to explain about it, no secrets, no nothing about it, straight up. Um, it's kind of nice. I feel like there's like there's no really big cheese on it. It's, um, I mean, I guess it is a kind of easy expansion point for human, but then again, uh, under player who uh, scouts it and sees it, uh, it's kind of easy to interrupt, uh, you know, it kind of goes 50-50, yeah, not really 50-50, but Undead players have a decent shot of interrupting that expansion point. Unlike Twisted Meadows, um, it is pretty difficult for an Undead player to uh, disrupt that quick expansion for a Human player, because Human player, um, they get the advantage because the Undead player has to run all the way over uh, to the Human side of the map, and by that time, how much can you really do with a level one death knight and a few ghouls or maybe one fiend so I mean it's, it's kinda unfair in that that point um, but anyways actually going for a quick arcane here so I have never seen this done on um, Amazonia so that should be kinda cool I think he's using it to kinda scout ooh I actually see a paladin I'm sorry I, I haven't even done a Warcraft 3 commentary anyway. I forgot what the standard procedures are anyways got a paladin uh, for Anima, uh, it does have this tower, this Acolyte, looks like it's doing a lot of damage on it, Death Knight uh, being picked up here with a Rod of Necromancy, and uh, he's going to be able to take down that Goblin Laboratory uh, quite easily here, uh, with the aid of those Militiamen, and I'm going to pick up the Tomb of um, Agility, or the Tome of Agility, and it uh, looks like Arcane Tower is going to be uh, completed here, and Anima is going to try to take this down if he is, uh, looks like he's going to be able to, so, uh, kind of uh, wasted resources there, so nicely done there by Ketchy. Uh, he is going to use the, uh, lose an Acolyte as well as those two uh, skeletons in the process of taking it down. But uh, Ketchy would take the trade uh, any day. Looks like uh, Ketchy going to start upgrading to Halls of the Dead. And uh, he did not pick up the Aura, so he did pick up um, Divine Shield as well as uh, Holy Light there. Uh, picked up a Cloak of Shadows as well as a Ring of Protection, so, um, I mean, decent items. Ring of Protection on a Paladin is never too bad. Um, nice little save there. Um, put that, uh, Coil, uh, Holy Light counter right there. A player's are looks like Ketchy's just trying to keep an eye on, uh, Anima here. Um, but it looks like Anima is gonna go for a, um, expansion, quick expansion. Uh, he's gonna be putting up the Arcane Vault. I'm sorry, I strayed away from the fight there. Um, this little micro, moving that footman back. And Skeleton's being uh, taken down pretty easily here. And that Holy Light is, uh, seems like he's doing a pretty nice job. He, it looks like he's going to go for Surround here, and I think he might actually get it. Uh, he brought a lot of Militia here, and it looks like he's going to get that Surround, and he does complete the Surround right there. Let's see if Kedge is going to do a Town Portal right here. Uh, most likely not. Level 1 Death Knight? I don't think he will. And he does not. So uh, very nicely done there by Anima. Picking up that quick uh, level 1 kill on that Death Knight. As well as getting a few more experience points. Uh, finishing off these skeletons. Now he's going to be able to uh, complete this expansion point. I'm guessing he's going to go for the expansion point. Looks like that's the, uh, the science he's showing here. Not doing a T2 upgrade yet. And I do apologize if my commentary skills have diminished a little bit. I haven't done one in, uh, I want to say two months, maybe maybe three months, oh gosh. But uh, anyways, looks like Ketchy's going to bring in that uh, Fiend. He has uh, three Fiends waiting for the Death Knight to rejoin the posse. And actually, and there's the expansion. It uh, looks like, is he going to go for, I don't even know what he's doing at this point. He's not going for the expansion yet. Hmm. I don't know, maybe he's going to go for a T1, I don't even, I honestly don't know. I th is he just going for a delayed 
Hmm, this is rather interesting. Is he staying T1? I don't even know what Anima is doing at this point. Um, I think he wanted to expand, but maybe just... I have no clue what he's doing. But, uh, picked up the level, um, level 3, so that's a quick level 3 on the Paladin. And, um, it's microing these footmen quite nicely. He hasn't lost one. I don't think. He might have lost one in that little skirmish earlier. But, uh, I don't think he lost two. Anyways, Kachi's Death Knight is still at level 1, so he's far behind that Paladin. And pretty soon the Paladin's going to be able to uh, just Divine Shield in the back of uh, Kachi's base and do some harassment on those Acolytes. That's uh, going to be uh, quite the hassle there uh, for Kachi to handle that. That's always um, one of my huge pet peeves against a uh, human player. Uh, never let that Paladin get quick level 3. And it looks like... Um, ooh, yeah, it looks like he's going to go for the harassment on the um, Acolytes right now. Um, I think... He didn't get the base block uh, completely. Got a little bit of base block. So here's the Divine Shield and uh, Footman coming in. I'm um, going to be able to take down one Acolyte pretty easily. Already got the Defend upgrade. So it's going to be pretty difficult for Kachi uh, to take down these Footmen uh, using those Fiends. And uh, already uh, remaking the Acolyte. Already ahead of schedule. Uh, Lich is going to be the second hero choice coming out here for Kachi. So this is rather interesting. I don't think Anima is going for the T2. Uh, I think he's gonna go for T1 footman harass maybe I don't even know I'm uh, gonna be able to save that footman with that holy light um, But actually Kachi's doing a pretty nice job here defending his base here. It uh, looks like anima switching targets now He's gonna be able to take down one fiend with that holy light and uh, actually kind of a decent trade here for anima uh, Looks like ooh, that's a very nice item actually coming in handy that coca shadows are uh, gonna force Kachi to use a uh, Dust of appearance, but uh, Kachi moves his position and uh, that gives Anima the chance to get out of there with that Paladin. But uh, we do have the uh, Town Hall uh, being upgraded to keep. So I'm not sure what Anima was thinking there. Uh, he delayed that quite a bit. I'm not sure uh, what he was doing there. Um, did pick up a Staff of Teleportation. So if he does get in trouble, he's not going to be able to teleport all his footmen back. Uh, so he doesn't have that Town Portal. Did sell it. Did pick up a Boost of Speed as well. I wanted to mention that, but I, I just kept uh, going off topic there. But anyways, actually doing some multitasking, creeping here with these footmen over on the right side of the map. And footmen just keep being uh, the unit of choice here for Anima. Uh, where is this paladin located? Uh, paladin, paladin. A player's forces hmm. are under attack. Where's paladin? I can't find paladin. Oh, he's in the zeppelin. So he picked up a zeppelin there. Uh, do have an illusion scout here coming for catchy uh, gonna pick up a slippers of agility plus three uh, not the best item he wanted there but now he's gonna use the zeppelin which is gonna be even a bigger hassle here for uh, catchy so this must be rather a pain here for catchy um, you know he's losing uh, quite a bit of elite resources every time that acolyte gets taken down and I think that holy light I think it might be like one or two auto attacks I don't know for sure off the top of my head but it's either a uh, few auto attacks and a holy light. It's going to take down an acolyte uh, at level 2. Uh, going to pick up a gargoyle. Uh, it's going to be able to counter that zeppelin uh, quite easily. And we do see a lumber mill going up. So um, I think Anima maybe foresaw some gargoyle production. Maybe a destroyer production. Uh, something uh, in the air. Um, maybe he's just building that lumber mill for... Um, I don't know. I think he's just building it just because he's a Lumber Rail. Paladin's coming in here. Already killed one Acolyte. Um, actually, no. He didn't. Well, that's kind of... Kachi actually has uh, six Acolytes right there. Uh, just in case if one of them gets taken down. Uh, just can't really do too much. I mean, the Paladin is in a... Ze Ooh, Zeppelin's taken down. You have the Staff of uh, TP out of here. Uh, no stuns or anything, so I won't be able to cancel that Staff of Teleportation. And uh, looks like he's going to go over here and continue to creep. I'm uh, going to pick up that level 5 relatively soon if he keeps on taking on these big creep camps. Uh, not really too worried about losing some footmen at this point. But uh, he basically has all map control. And Kachi's struggling here to still get that death into level 3. Looks like he's going to be able to achieve it right here after this uh, Goblin Merch uh, camp right here. Um, and still T2. Not sure what Anima's still doing. I th is he just staying true to this Paladin footman harass? A strategy and maybe he's gonna build it into late game griffins or I'm not sure but griffins kind of gets countered relatively easily by under players um I don't know oh he's picking up blood mage now so blood mage is gonna be able to use that banish as well as the mana drain combination it's gonna be pretty nice to focus uh, single targets with that holy light um and here we go we got the um the harassment continues here uh, from this paladin I was surprised he didn't start attacking that sacrificial pit it's pretty weak 
Um, we're gonna pick up the Tome of Agility and just, just do some harassment here. Um, but harassing the little gob uh, what is it called? Mur Mur Murlocs? Murloc camp? Uh, gonna do some multitasking here with these footmen. I'm uh, gonna drag the creep here and get a surround, so that's kinda nice. Uh, nice little strategy there. I'm uh, gonna pick up an item or two on this uh, blood mage, and I still have no idea what anima is going for. He's delayed his T3 tech um, a lot, a lot. And actually not too bad compared to Ketchy. Ketchy had to delay his T3 tech a little bit because of that harassment. But uh, Ketchy in a, a sticky situation here. Uh, has his hands tied behind his back. Can't really do too much or even go that far away from his base. But the Paladin's going to roam in there and uh, just destroy those Acolytes. It looks like um, he's going to do that again. Um, actually, no, we just have a Gargoyle Scout here. Um, one auto attack from that Blood Mage. We'll finish it off here. It looks like Blood Mage is going to try to do it. No, he decides not to. Uh, almost level 3 on Lich after this creep camp. Picks up a nice potion of immobility. It's going to be some, prevent some nice uh, hero focusing there. And finally, we have a quick expansion, or maybe he's not even, I think he's going for the quick expansion, because uh, I think he could have just cleared this um, with the footman. So he's bringing in the militia here. Uh, finally, going to go for a quick expansion, a very, very delayed one. A blacksmith being put up. Maybe he's going to go for a knights, and I'm not sure. He's building a blacksmith uh, for upgrades. Possibly knights or griffins. Um, oh, maybe some riflemen as well. Not too sure what Anima's uh, unit production choice is going to be these next few moments. Uh, another illusion coming in here for uh, Ketchy here. Just keeping an eye, uh, checking up here on the base for Anima. And we do have a little skirmish here. And Ketchy's army has grown quite a bit since the last time we saw it. Uh, destroyers. Do we have the upgrade on the destroyers? Destroyer upgrade is in the process right now. Uh, we are going to have Paladin sitting at level 5. Nice item, Roba Magi. Uh, that's a very nice item. I'm uh, going to be able to uh, do some nice nuking. And actually, the nuking uh, from the Banish uh, kind of kind of works hand in hand there. If, as long as the Fiend's not taken down. Because the Coil, I believe, does more healing when a unit is banished as well. Or at least I think it does. And that nuke on the Death Knight, uh, that's rather scary here for Ketchy. Uh, using a mana drain here as well. Footmen are just kind of being, uh, you know, bodyguards, tanks here for the heroes. And that Paladin's going to be doing all the damage here. And he's going to be just doing the hero focusing now. Uh, going to use sleep here. Actually picked up a Dreadlord for level 3. Going to use a Potion of Invulnerability uh, here on the uh, Blood Mage. Going to try to maybe get another Banish. It looks like we have a Potion being picked up here by Ketchy. Another sleep going off on this Paladin. And uh, po that was a big Potion of Invulnerability as well. It wasn't a small one. And maybe a nuke here uh, coming on the Blood Mage. No. Looks like all these footmen are going to be uh, picked off here. Uh, no more mana left on this Death Knight. At least uh, not enough for a coil. And uh, it looks like that uh, Lich might be taken down. Uh, no, he did buy another potion. Uh, Got to use some Frost Armory here. Maybe a possible surround here on this Paladin. And wow, the coil was just a bit delayed. And it looks like that Lich is going to be taken down. We do have a surround here. Um, but he probably is going to... Staff a TP out, still using that Cold of Shadows to his advantage, and uh, while this is uh, going down, we have a uh, Town Hall being constructed at that expansion point. Uh, there is a uh, Dust of Appearance here, so Paladin's going to be focused down here, probably going to see Staff a TP right now, and no, we got to sleep here, so this is, uh, oh, actually, he does have a, a stun slash, uh, um, what would you say, disruption. Uh, for that Staff of TP, so now he's actually going to get surrounded. A Dust of Appearance just wore off, and there's Dust of Appearance. He could take it down. Where's the Divine Shield? There it is, and he's going to survive for uh, just a, a few more seconds, and it looks like this could be turned around. Wow. If Ketchy's able to take down this Paladin, um, I mean, the only thing that Anima can do is buy that Paladin uh, as soon as possible back from the Tavern. That's going to be a lot of resources, and uh, if he's not able to, um, it's probably going to be GG because he can really do some damage here without this Paladin on the map. And I think that's what Ketchy is waiting for. And wow, he staffed Wow. He, wow, very nice play there. Um, he's going to suicide the Blood Mage instead. Oh, no. He, I think he can staff a teleportation out unless he staff a teleportation in. And he's going to banish himself, so that's pretty smart here. Um, it looks like Ketchy could have nuked it, though. There's the nuke with the banish combination. Uh, not enough uh, more mana to use a nuke now. That mana drain doing a nice job. Going to banish himself once again. Not enough for a banish, so it looks like he's going to die here. But a uh, pretty nice stall there by Anima. And the only downfall, uh, the Paladin cannot move until it's fully healed, I believe. So um, he's going to have to take that trade. But a uh, very nice save there. If that Paladin did go down, uh, could have been GG. 
So a nice little save there. And we do see knights, so I did project partially right. I was going to see knights and mortar teams. I was going to guess copters maybe, but I guess copters are kind of useless against crypt fiends unless you have a lot of them. So this uh, knight combination, uh, just upgrading this footman to uh, knight status. And uh, that paladin uh, rejuving some uh, mana. Actually, I think he just used a whole pot, a whole mana pot on it. I think he bought the 200, it's a 200 gold one. Uh, but anyways, uh, Ketchy going to pick up a potion of mana himself. Um... Uh, as well as a potion of yeah, his, his dreadlord can get nuked out, nuked down rather quickly. Uh, only 600 HP, and that nuke with that banish combination, that that uh, blood mage is going to be coming back relatively soon as well. And here's a skirmish here. If Ketchy's able to take down the expansion point, uh, probably will be GG. But these knights are going to be very very tanky and uh, not going to be able to do much damage here on this paladin. So Ketchy is kind of in a struggle here. Um, and they're going to have to micro these knights around. That's what Ketchy's aim, uh, focusing at right now. These knights. And if he's able to take them down, it's going to be a lot of uh, experience points going towards those three heroes. And it looks like he's doing a rather nice job here. Actually going to be able to save one knight. Uh, trying to micro these knights uh, with that uh, uh, heal. But uh, in exchange, as long as uh, Ketchy's uh, diverting that holy light uh, to micro uh, animas units, he's uh, avoiding the nukes. And actually going to get Banshee. So very nice play there by uh, uh, Ketchy. Uh, actually just getting one Banshee, I believe. Um, does have possession, so he can take a Knight if he wants to. And that would probably be pretty smart there. Uh, actually coiled the Banshee, so Banshee needs to be careful here. And uh, he's going to use the Banshee right now, all its mana for the uh, anti-magic shield. But those Banshees go really, really fast if a mortar team is able to land a... A shot on that. Wow, but that nuke just took down that Dreadlord uh, very, very quickly. As I said, only 600 HP. So Akechi in a bit of a struggle here. Uh, I'm not sure what he's going to do at this point. Uh, does have the air advantage, though. Uh, not really too much anti-air here, except for this uh, Blood Mage. And I think... Is Anima even going to respond? Yeah, he is. He's going for the Gower Copters. Uh, one's got to come in. Uh, they do share the similar armor types, so he's going to be able to use uh, the Knight and Gower Copters. Uh, they do share the same armor, so uh, they are going to have the one upgrade. But uh, Gower Copter going to fall really, really quickly against uh, three destroyers auto-attacking it all at once. And Ketchy just needs to be careful. Has to, he must, must, must have the anti-magic shield on those heroes. And I think he should be okay as long as he micros decently. Um, against these uh, knights, but these knights just destroy fiends. They rip them to shreds. Oh, uh, Blood Mage, I think, almost fell there, uh, but that Holy Light saved it. Uh, it looks like that Death Knight taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, needs to back up and heal, and uh, so, I mean, Ketchy does have the air advantage here, and these Gyrocopters just coming in one at a time, not really doing too much here, and uh, hmm, this, this is kind of, this is kind of weird. Uh, Anima does have the expansion point up, so the longer this game goes, I think uh, the better the Anima here. And I think uh, Kachi's actually over 50 food, so uh, his resources are going to be uh, hit pretty hard here uh, from that low upkeep. And I think Kachi wants to reapply the pressure here uh, from his land units. And needs to be careful, those fiends are going to drop like flies uh, from that Holy Light. Almost level 6 here too, so if he takes down the majority of the knights, they're just going to come back. Uh, if the Paladin does have mana. Not not too much mana left here. Um, Blood Mage needs to start using some mana drain, but he really can't. He can only use it on the... Uh, I guess he... Yeah, no, actually he can use it on the statue, I believe. Um, and uh, it looks like he's still... I mean, I'm not sure if Anima is doing this right. If I was a human player, would you just stock up your Gyrocopters? Um, or just send them in one at a time? I'm not sure if it really makes a difference here. Uh, trying to use some skeletons as a tank for just a second here. Uh, looks like that Dreadlord, maybe, oh, I thought he was going to go for Surround here, and it uh, looks like Anima is in some trouble now. Going to have to retreat, and he's going to give up this Town Hall. He's going to give up the Expansion Point. So nicely done there by Ketchy. Um, I wasn't sure if Ketchy was going to do it at, at first, but he uh, changed his army to um, the air, and Anima didn't respond quick enough. Looks like that Town Hall is going to be taken down. Um, so nicely done there by Ketchy. Uh, still a level 5 Paladin, uh, really, really close to level 6. Probably not even going to make a big difference, so it's not that scary. Um, I mean, his, his ultimate's not a huge game changer, uh, if he, if, because he's going to be spamming that Holy Light. So, I, he's probably not going to be able to use, um, that Resurrection, um, 
I don't know, adequately. I don't, I don't think he's going to be able to use it well because he's not going to have enough mana. It, it costs a lot of mana. I think it's like 175 or something. Don't get me wrong, but I, I think it is. It's a lot of mana, and he's going to be spamming. He, although he does have a lot of mana, so if uh, the time comes, did pick up an Orb of Fire, so that's going to be a really, really nice counter to these air units at Paladins. to try to be doing work. There's the nukes before the Divine Shield gets uh, put off here, but these fiends and statues are going to be dropping. Uh, really, really quickly to these knights. Any upgrade from the knights, only the one defense. And Akachi's gonna have to uh, try to peel back here and uh, just try to kite uh, this this knight army. Can't really take them head on here. Um, looks like he's gonna try to take down this town hall. Only 277 HP left on it. So it looks like he's gonna go in for that, take it down. And once he does that, I think it's uh, more of a even playing field. Once Akachi takes it down, uh, just really no answer here uh, for the anti-air for anima it just can't produce finally we see the flat cannons being upgraded so let's get a really uh, whoa whoa never mind he does respond that's what i was waiting for uh the grouped gower copters i'm not sure why he was sending them one at a time but still uh no upgrades on those gower copters and they are uh, uh struggling to uh, counter this air units and nice little upgrades here by catchy I, I really like his decision there uh getting the one upgrade defense as well as the damage uh, on those destroyers as well as gargoyles I believe yes it does include the gargoyles um, so I think Ketchy's doing a nice job here um, looks like um, this it's still you know 50-50 game while wow, he did repair it oh, oh he didn't kill it really so uh, hmm if Ketchy destroyed it, it could it's probably that'll probably be GG but it looks like uh, Animus could be able to protect this or at least try to heal it up uh, really really quickly and he needs to start doing it now And I think he's a little bit too late um, No, actually here catch he didn't see it and wow Dra blood mage is gonna be taken down Wow nicely done there that banish and heal combination saved that blood mage uh, Really really nice there. Uh, it was really close. Uh, there's the uh, mana drain going in there Looks like our captors gonna be taken down really really easily a uh, gargoyle is gonna be taken down by a holy light and these knights just gonna be able to push back uh, the land army here of Ketchy, but Ketchy not really too worried about it. He still has the air dominance, and the Paladin can't counter uh, these Destroyers. Um, uh, they're immune to magic, so he really can't do too much. Uh, just gonna have to use the auto attacks here uh, with that Orb of Fire, and it's really not gonna do too much. Uh, that uh, Death Knight can just heal him back up uh, with the Death Coil, as well as the Statue. Ooh, looks like Dreadlord actually went down. I didn't see it, but actually Ketchy being pushed back here needs to heal up these Gower Copters, uh, finally taking a toll on these uh, destroyers. Uh, that flat cannon doing a nice job here on the area of effect. It looks like these knights are going to be uh, being pushed back here. Uh, possibly needs to heal up. All of these knights uh, have taken a little bit of damage. Could use a scroll of regeneration uh, if he can afford it. Uh, still over 50 food for Anima. And Kachi went back to 50. Going to try to rebuild that Dreadlord as well. And uh, he's going to continue uh, sacking, uh, sieging this town hall uh, with these four uh, four man destroyers. Uh, and here's the guy, uh, flying machines. Why don't I'm calling Gyrocopter? I'm watching too much Dota. Uh, I'm going to be able to micro that one destroyer. Sorry if you guys were offended me calling Gyrocopters. Hope you guys understood. Anyways, these flying machines doing a uh, nice job, uh, kind of. Uh, looks like destroyers need to heal up, though. They're, they're getting pretty weak here. And if they keep taking more auto attacks uh, from these heroes, they're going to be taking down. Nice just be able to... Oh, actually, I think Ketchy ran out of gold as well as Anima ran out of gold. So this is huge. Oh, my gosh. Ketchy could have won if he took down that town hall. He could have won if he took down that town hall. Or oh, it would have been really, really close. So I think Ketchy's calling GG here. I think he is. Oh, wow, that's a huge... That, that sucks, man. He could have possibly made that game so much closer. And Ketchy looks like he caused GG. And uh, wow, really? So nicely done there by Anima. That, that, that keeping that town hall alive uh, really did change the game. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. I know I'm really rusty. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my first one in quite some time. But uh, yeah, hope I can get some more uh, out relatively soon. And uh, yeah, peace out.